In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add and use the Bitmoji Google extension. Google extensions are used when you are using the web browser Google Chrome and they pop up with these icons up here. Each of these icons provide a different task or activity that I can use when I'm using documents in Google Chrome. The Bitmoji extension is free. You need to make sure you already have a Bitmoji account either with Snapchat or if you just go to bitmoji.com, it can help you create an account and then an app you can download on your phone. This is where you actually create the Bitmoji, the Bitmoji app. The extension is just to allow you to use what you've created on your computer in an easy way. If you don't have the Bitmoji app or Snapchat on your phone, please pause this video, do that first, and then resume this video to get the extension. I already have the Bitmoji app, and so I'm going to grab the extension. The website to get any Google extension is chrome.google.com slash web store. When I get here in the top, it allows me to search for the extension that I want. I want the Bitmoji extension. I can click on the Bitmoji extension to learn more about it and just some more information to see if my device is compatible. I'm going to add this to my Chrome. It will pop up if I want to allow these permissions. I'm okay with that. I'm going to add the extension. It's then going to ask me how I want to log in. I can log in with Snapchat or I can log in with my email. I'm going to pause the video and log in and allow any permissions that pop up along the way. We'll keep going once I've logged in. I am now logged into Bitmoji using my username and password. It gives me a couple tips that I can use the Bitmoji when I'm using my connected Gmail account. So that's already in the email composition section and then it shows me where Bitmoji will be in my web browser up here at the top. Again, this is when you are using Google Chrome. I'm going to show you a couple of ways how you can access your Bitmoji. So once I click on it, all my options will be here. To change your outfits or hairstyles, that has to be done within the app and it'll take a second to load, but it connects pretty well. Let's go back to this page. I can save my Bitmoji in a couple of ways. When I click on the extension, I can click on the image that I like and drag it to my document. And I can resize it. This would be great to use with student papers. There's my Bitmoji there. I can also search for different topics to see if there's anything that is relevant to what I'm teaching or what I want to say. That's pretty awesome. If you're on a document that doesn't allow you to drag and drop images, you can still use your Bitmoji. If you right click on the Bitmoji you want to use and then click Save Image As, I can rename it. I'm going to rename mine Sleeping. I think that's the one that I got. And then it's going to save to my desktop. Click Save. And in Google Chrome, downloads pop up at the bottom, but you can also insert images another way. I can upload it from my computer. Oh, I did the good morning. That's okay. And then I can upload images that way. So depending on the platform you're using, you can save Bitmojis as individual images onto your computer, or you can drag it directly in the document that you're using. I hope that was helpful in showing you how to use the Bitmoji Google extension.